not difficult to get from point A to point B, right? And how difficult can it get? So we really want to understand uh, what can we set right in the longer run, right? And uh, you you know what's the scene like today? This is typically how all of us travel, right? And uh, we really want to understand what you think are say problems out there today. So let's probably list up what the problems are. Uh, you might have already some in your head. It could be traffic. It could be pollution. Right? If you could just list out, I could probably just take note and then let's talk about what we can do there. On the road, yeah. Uh, it could be anything from weather to potholes, but I'm saying anything to do with the road, uh, mm -hmm. we should probably just take note. Discipline. Okay. What else? Safety. Safety, okay. Expenses. Okay, affordability. All right. Unreliable. Okay. All right. Punctuality. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, the list is endless, right? <laughs> Maybe interpersonal. Okay. Okay. So I'll say uh, a human touch. Yeah. Okay. Personal preference. I don't know if it's a problem. Choice. Yeah. Okay. I think traffic is one. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, potholes another. Yeah. All right. What else? Anything, anything. I'm saying we, we're solving the ground transportation problems. I'm saying, is there any way we can just put all of it together, right? And auto wallas, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, construction. Perfect. What else? Hey, hi, Anand. So we're just listing down. All issues that you would ever find on the road, got to do with the road, anything that you got to do from point A to point B, right? Uh, what do you think are the challenges? Let's let's probably just bounce it off, right? What else? Hey, hi guys. Are we just trying to list down uh, all problems that you can face in going from point A to point B, right? It can have to do with fuel. It can have to do with uh, you know your mode of transport or the surface, whatever it may be. So you might just want to chip in. What else do you think are the typical problems or challenges or issues, whatever you want to call it? I'm thinking there's an accident or there's one okay. they missed because it was done really well. Okay, so, okay. So there's no fire, I mean, uh, firefighting in immediate Okay, so, of conflict, so, all right. So can I just put it as cops? Yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> all right, so yeah. bad cops, yeah. okay. <laughs> what else? Also that, you know, innumerable charges. You don't really recall what right. you want into mind. Right. Hmm. You always hmm. feel like call the jet and then correct, correct, you don't correct. Have someone across the country. Or okay. Somewhere. So you're talking about uh, uh, lack of clarity, or probably there's not a single there point of gaps, contact. Yeah. yeah. There's no single point. Right. So uh, let me say, someone can help me word it better. Aggregation. Aggregation. Okay. Yeah. That'll be a little bit of upselling for us. <laughs> sure. Aggregation. Uh, rather the lack of it yeah okay okay uh, aggregation and let me call it uh, identity okay all right what else for me parking is an issue i drive my car i use a little bit of ola a little bit of uh, you know autos and taxis once in a while in other cities but i still drive my car so parking is a huge issue maintenance is a huge issue for me uh, because coconuts often like my windshields uh, that that gets hit often uh, what else do you think? Not the potholes. Potholes, yeah, I've, I've put it up. Yeah, uh, that, that was the uh, uh, very critical one. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> what else? Every day in Bangalore, there's one way it keeps changing. There's okay. one new one way coming up every day. Ah, all right. So I'll just mm -hmm. call it roads because we're talking about bad roads, good roads, one ways, freeways, non freeways, etc. All right. What else? Pollution is another. I can never drive with my windows down ever. Mm -hmm. All right, in Bangalore, even if it's good weather outside. Uh, weather, I think, is probably another one. I think rains are bad, so is your heat. So the choices get affected, right? Any more? If you're charging more. Okay, so let me call it fleece. Okay. Connectivity, like 
Ah, okay. So last mile, ideally the last mile connectivity. Okay. What else can we think of? Imo, you must be on the road quite often, right? <laughs> payment solutions. Ah, okay. So payments. Uh, that's that's one big thing that we are trying to yeah. solve. Let's yeah. share a little about it. Payments, right. In the buses and stuff, uh, you can't really uh, you can't go get the. There's no there's no some there's no card or something. You can ah, get okay. Change and we're talking about automation uh, to some extent. Yeah, yeah. Ease ease of, yeah, payment. ease of payment. Ease of payment. Okay. So I'll just call it uh, ease of access. Rather, I'll just say access. Right. Uh, that includes payment. That includes you know, pressing a button when you want to get down probably, which is there, out there in the U.S. or Singapore, so all right. Fuel, is that for maintenance? Yeah, totally, totally. Fuel and the atrocious prices that it brings along with it, okay. We can even include credit card bills if you like. <laughs> right. All right, what else? Crowd, probably, there are too many people that you have to face, all right. What else? Hey. Anand, good to meet. So we're just trying to list down what's what's the nightmare on the road. Uh, now, getting from point A to point B, how bad can it get? All right. So you might want to chip in. So what else troubles you so much that you feel, why do I have to struggle so much to go from point A to point B? Scheduling. Scheduling, okay. Or the lack of it, rather. All right. Yeah. What else? It's not a issue for me personally, but emergency services. Ah, okay. Hmm. Emergencies. That's some trouble. So just to share with you, uh, I I I faced a terrible accident around a month ago. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened to me, but the car got, uh, you know, got into pieces. In fact, the beauty of it was uh, I was on a highway. Uh, 60 kilometers away from Bangalore, it's a place called Kolar, mm -hmm. Bangalore Chennai Highway. Yeah. The minute my car went and did a double spin and fell into the pit, uh, three minutes flat, and there were two ambulances there. Can you beat that? All right. Nothing happened to any of us in the car, but two ambulances mm -hmm. right there. Uh -huh. you know, three minutes from the time you just fall into the pit. That that was amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel like standing up and doing the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Not an expressway, that was the old highway, so that was even more surprising. No, this one, this is the Bangalore Kolar thing, the old one. Uh, no, not the Hoskodeto Kolar. Uh, this, this is the one where the Kamath hits Chennai. That's the Hoskodeto Kolar thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a new one, like toll road, but they're not Ha, ah, okay, okay. Hmm. So, emergencies, yeah, very valid. What else? So, mode of transport. Mode of transport. We call it choice? Yeah, yeah? yeah? okay. So, we put up choice there. All right. We have choice, okay. What else? Frequency. I mean, you never know when the next bus is going to be coming, right? Mm -hmm. Or the next auto who wants to take you. All right. What else? You want to run through the list again? Frequency, emergency, scheduling, crowd, <laughs> fuel, access, payments, last mile, fleas, weather, <laughs> pollution, roads, maintenance, parking, identity, aggregation, cops, construction, auto wallas, potholes. Traffic, choice, humane, punctuality, reliability, affordability, safety, discipline. I think 28 <laughs> issues is, is, is good enough for 10 minutes, right? Cool. Now, the intent was simple, all right? Intent is to find out, uh, you know, who's solving for this, right? Uh, who can solve for this? Obviously, it's just you and me who can solve for it. Uh, but, but the larger intent is to understand, do you know of businesses all right, uh, who do this in the Indian context. And I'm saying the Indian context is, is phenomenally extreme. Right? It's, it's not as simple as the US where everything is scheduled and you just have to you know, run some excellent big data uh, you know, algorithms and things just fall in place. Right? Uh, never, never happens that way. Uh, uh, but, but are you aware of businesses who are probably trying to solve for this, trying to you know, uh, get information access uh, to regular human beings like you and me, or probably even working towards solving for the problems as a whole? I'd uh, love to hear from either of you. No, I mean, honestly, it's, it's just, if there's anything we know about, I'd be really 
Sorry, that's like. That's like the the traffic message channel. Okay. In hmm. certain uh, uh, communication, which is used the radio network. Okay. To uh, communicate and pass data through the network. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. not just audio; it's also da- data going through. Oh. And the tuner in the car, mm-hmm. in, in most companies, they can uh, take the data and reroute your navigation based on more data coming from the DMC. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 That's that's a community. Uh, no, that's so a, that's it? again infrastructure based and organization Achha. based. So that's okay. the only thing I've known of. The government does this, or yeah. So the oh. government enables that bandwidth and allows the radio stations. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, they have to put up the antennas, and the cops around the the, the issue or the emergency services around the issue can transmit data. Say, right. This happened here. Mm-hmm. So that data uh, gets aggregated. Yeah. The government infrastructure infrastructure and then goes to the cars. So the okay. That's cool. I see a lot of these interesting uh, LED boards also in Bangalore. I don't know if you've uh, observed. Yeah. So it says, "Don't take C B Raman Nagar. Don't yeah. take H A R. But it gives you a lot of don'ts, which is an amazing yeah. thing. So probably right. of seeing that board is very less. That's correct. But once you <laughs> see it, you don't miss it. So uh, you know, we probably should get more of them up, right? So. Uh, so my my question when you asked me uh, whether I know about business doing this is, I'm thinking one step before saying, how can a business help? Right. Uh, be- because. Uh, the government has most of the control over such infrastructure or mm-hmm. access to things that can change right so how, i'm asking you now how, mm-hmm. how can a business help sure so i'm saying uh, so sap doing something like this i think is is a great uh, step in that direction mm-hmm. at least a small one but a great step mm-hmm. all right uh, i i saw someone coming and telling me uh, please take your car back and park it straight i, I was in a hurry and he said it very nicely i i, I did it mm-hmm. i think it it was one inch of parking saved but another car fitting in which is amazing he said the uh, same thing right <laughs> <laughs> okay they're doing the job well right so uh, i think at at an individual uh, micro level uh, businesses that may not be directly related to this <coughs> can do this at a macro level where businesses like us have vested interest mm-hmm. when i say vested interest i'm saying uh, we would love to ensure that people get faster from a to b come on that's what yes. that's that's primarily what we do right so uh, we do a lot of back end work there uh, we are taking it one step ahead with uh, you know uh, taking it into public policy we'll talk about it uh, a little right uh, but i'm saying uh, 
it is obvious that we are in the business of uh, being on the road, so we're going to be working hard at it. Uh, but we, we'd love to know uh, of businesses which are probably doing their bit and think about, say, every business doing its own bit uh, in this direction. I think that, that, that will count. Right. I, I know a lot of businesses that do, uh, you know, internal bus commute uh, just to ensure that you avoid moving in. Mm -hmm. All right. I know a lot of businesses that that do a, a very very well scheduled commute. EMC Square is one of those, uh, you know, who uh, whom I know do that very well. So I think that's that's phenomenal. Uh, uh, they have they have a superb roaster mm -hmm. uh, that goes almost through every corner of the city, mm -hmm. and I'm told that they have very few people who bring cars to work. All right. And that that's one huge building. That to me is, is, is phenomenal, all right. Uh, where, where do you guys work? What what happens there? I'd love to know. Yeah. Uh, what what do you do? And any, anything that your business does or your workplace does that that makes getting from point A to point B easier and simpler yeah, to solve. All of our uh, commutes, is our uh, transportation services. Okay. Becoming not feasible for them. Okay, okay. Uh, they save their costs, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how do, how do you commute? Do you commute by bus? Do you commute by... Bus, you yeah. take the bus. Okay, okay. And most so others do? Sorry? Most others do, or...? No, uh, so what happened is the employees, mm -hmm. they themselves uh, pulled up and they hired local cabs. So it goes on okay. a spot sharing basis. That's cool, okay. The funny thing is, uh, my office is on Old Airport Road, mm -hmm. and we have a bigger office mm -hmm. uh, in Electronic City. Okay. There are cabs... Uh, going towards Electronic City because they say it's far off. Okay. They say the one, our office in Old Airport Road, uh, they say that they cannot provide for uh, services because it's somewhat closer, closer to the city. Well okay. connected, so you use a local bus. Okay, so okay, okay. okay. Ah, that's interesting. We've been trying to uh, get the commute thing started again because we had mm -hmm. transportation facilities. So where, where do you work? This I work one? at CGI. CGI, okay, okay, cool. All right, so we could probably reach out to you sometime and uh, yeah, make sense out of it. Yeah. Okay. Super. One thing that uh, our company has done is our timing. This is Mercedes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Timing when we, we used to be in EGL, so our uh, timing used to be 8 to 5 15 there. Okay. Once we moved to Whitefield, within a month we realized that those timings are not going to work. Yeah, not feasible. So our uh, timings have been shifted to 7 to 4 15. Oh, cool. Okay. So we start working at 7 15 and we leave at 4 15. That's amazing. Okay. So that helps. I mean, people started realizing the hard way that right, this is right. of the city. So our timings are huh. one, one hour early. Okay. I, I know of another company called National Instruments right here on Saljapur Road uh, that does that. Right, people come in at 6:45 to work, all right, and they leave at 4 o'clock sharp. Right? Nobody is allowed to stay back in office after 4 unless it's it's an emergency. Right? They call it an emergency and they stay back. But uh, 6:45 to 4 is is what they work, and I, that that I think is amazing. I mean, you just fly to office and you fly back home, yeah. and you probably have a longer day and a healthier sleep and all of that. So right? One more thing I saw online. I'm not sure. I don't remember the name. Mm -hmm. There's one. Uh, Okay. And probably, uh, I'm not sure, but I think some account details about the credit card or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's uh, slowly growing. It's on invite basis so that people can start trusting it. Okay. And then you have to not remove mm -hmm. a single uh, penny of cash from your pocket. Mm -hmm. So they will organize group cabs for okay. you. Oh. And you don't have to pay for it. So you get in and get out and they'll know where you got in, where you got out and they'll charge you. Ah, okay. So it might take a little while. Which, for which company would this be? I'm not sure. It's this is not Indian, right? Huh? This is not Indian. It's Indian, Indian. I'm okay. not sure where it is. I mm -hmm. think it's just online. And, uh, oh, okay. You might book cabs from cab uh, services, mm -hmm. but the payment service, they want to make it clean and not messy because when mm -hmm. they get off the cab, how much was it? And they don't want to I get it. Money. I'm asking you if it's Indian because Indian companies are not allowed to have cards on file. So, so I, I have a doubt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah, I don't know. But some payment service okay. is cashless. But oh, we, we'd love to know. Come up with the right, but. Service and they, they, do, they do actually store the credit. Correct. That's because they're an American company. So they, they just they have, have to. Uh, but they, they bill as an American company, so uh, they're allowed to do it, interestingly. So that's, that's challenges for Indian businesses like us. <laughs> but that's also a challenge uh, that's worthy of solving, because I'm saying for the, for the kind of scale that we are in today, uh, we'd love to solve this better for the larger good than, say, let's look at a loophole and set up a Hawala company at Singapore <laughs> or Mauritius and, you know, <laughs> do things that are not warranted. So, uh, you know, we said, let's let's solve it intelligently. So, one thing that we have done, I don't know if you know, it's called Ola Money, mm -hmm. right? You had to recharge your wallet, all right? The experience is the same. You just step in and step out. Your account's automatically mm -hmm. charged. But just that, you refill your wallet. So, it's, it's under refurbished mode now. We're going to relaunch it soon. 
uh, and you can also earn Ola money. Uh, that's your credits essentially. You can refer and you know uh, oh, yeah. come back and win contests and all of it, and you you win Ola money, and that gets into your account. So we're trying to make payments as seamless as possible. But uh, for all you know, we might come out with three or four very interesting payment solutions in the next six months, and that we think will will change the scape for Indian companies at least who can take you and. So very similar to say Flipkart starting off COD big time, mm -hmm. right? So I'm saying very very similar, but without the hassle of cash, mm -hmm. something that we'd love to do. Uh, so we we'd probably come to that when you take your thoughts on it. Any anything more? Any any uh, where do you where do you work? Uh, what 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 does your business do? Interestingly, to solve anything from point A to point B. Uh, well, I work for a company called Mapunity, and we build uh, we build this bank of transport information system. Oh, super. Okay. Which gives you. Uh, Traffic information at various junction based on the density data and uh, oh. GPS feeds from the BMC buses. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the data is dying, and so the information and analysis is going out. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an interesting thing that you said how how businesses can help solve this problem, and if many right. of the taxi companies that are running mm. can share the GPS feed, we don't need the specific. Uh, we just need an aggregate location of correct, what correct, speed the correct. cab is traveling and sure, it, yeah. an aggregate data of that could be fed to the traffic management center or it can be calibrated center. better. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then, then figure out where the condition is and right. which roads are free, which are not. Super. Mm. So mm. we even did uh, in three, four years back an L E D board at the Trinity Circle saying that which where the old airport was still operational. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whether you should go via Dongdur or via Indranagar to wait for to get faster. Oh, cool. Like okay. So we're on an experimental basis. Mm. And it works for a while. Obviously, it's the same thing happens with the mm -hmm. business when you try to access the government. Right. So, I don't know. Some how how active is it at the moment? Because uh, we are also talking to, uh, you know, the Bangalore traffic police uh, mm. uh, data guys uh, mm. to share data. So we have a lot of available data. I want to show you that. Right. What kind of data? Uh, speed data. We're talking about pothole maps. We're talking about uh, you know uh, uh, so route route-based data. Any, if you're seeing any speed map at TMC, that's coming out of your mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But currently, we're not getting any speed. <laughs> okay. So okay. Obviously, you won't see any data. But when we were getting the speed, it was pretty interesting for the traffic mm -hmm. police to figure out which segments of the roads were. Okay. Adjusted. It's not about the junction. It's about the road mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So I, I'm sure uh, if more taxi companies pull in their data and, and feed it to the TMC and things like that. Right. That really helps. Uh, especially we're talking about emergency services in business. There is no way for anybody to figure out if an, em an ambulance is stuck in between, if it is not approaching any traffic. True, true. So we have built one ambulance tracker application wherein the TMC will see any of the ambulances in the city moving around. Okay. And uh, it will also tell you which signal it's approaching. But all this will help more if we have more data from which is live data. And sure. I think taxis are the best way. Right. Best source right. Of right. Information right. Doing the sheer volume and the number of yeah. moves that they make in a day, yeah. I think yeah, that can add a lot of value. We, we, we'd love to catch up and see how we can do that. Okay. So, uh, hi, all uh, the new guys. Uh, so, we were just talking about uh, what's it on the road that troubles us the most. <laughs> Made a quick list and a nice wordle of, uh, you know, what are all the issues that we face. If we're trying to understand what each of our businesses or workplaces do about, you know, uh, simplifying getting from point A to point B, be it the way SAP does it with encouraging people to get in, uh, you know, electronic cars, electric cars, right, uh, or probably EMC Square, which does an awesome uh, shuttle around the city to ensure that nobody drives to work, right. So, uh, where do you guys work? What, what, what does your workplace do to probably better your Commute. We can do anything actually. We have to lie down on our own. Okay. Uh, I'm working uh, right here in uh, Whitefield area, so my the commute area, uh, commute uh, distance is uh, pretty less. Okay. Uh, I mean, but still, because of potholes, that take like more than half an hour. <laughs> right. So potholes is a trouble. Okay. Yeah, they own like half of BMTC, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> During the even G. Oh really? Okay, I haven't seen them. Though. Infosys takes pride in put, putting up the name, so that's that's amazing to see. Which route is this? Is Infosys route? <laughs> right. Uh, so G has a uh, unit here. Yeah, the innovation center. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So every day uh, evening I see. So I leave office by around six thirty. Uh, 
What's the what's the acronym you use? J J JF. JF. Okay. JF. What does it stand for? John F. Welch Technology. Oh. Research. Okay. So that's the G S Research Bridge. Mm -hmm. And every day I see, and I, and I I keep I I get all angry, you know. Right. Like, you know, there's an empty bus that I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, stop the bus, deboard the people, put them into a cab, and send the bus away. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't try to stop the bus. They just like passing the way. All right. And sorry, we interrupted you. Go on. Yeah. Oh, you're done? Okay. okay. So you take the bus, is it? That's what you do? Yes. All right. And how many buses does Infi have, just to understand? I've never managed to calculate. <laughs> Approx. What do you think the number would be? We're seeing a lot of buses. 100 buses in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And how many people would they be moving around, typically? There are 15,000. Okay. So that's, that's a bad ratio then. But that's still probably the biggest. That's amazing. Okay. Probably very efficient. True. <laughs> probably very efficient, right. Sorry. In my company, it's an Intel in Sajapur after Right, it. right. What we do is we used to have a like you know private operator who used to shuttle the buses and all the day they used to lie idle in the campus. Okay. Now mm -hmm. what they've done is that you know like uh, there is something called Outer Ring Road Companies Association. Okay. They have pulled together. Oh wow. And I had like uh, this one, Volvo, mm -hmm. which just comes like in the morning and in the evening. Right. And they give the passes to every employee. Okay. So you can commute in, in any of those buses. Any of those Volvo buses. That's amazing. The, like you know. So we don't have any. Essentially pulling in the inventory and yeah. making it more efficient. Very, very efficient. Okay. Those, Saving uh, the money. Too. Which one? I'm sorry? The same thing which you were talking about. Uh -huh. I've seen those buses. Hmm. Again, they have the same problem. They're also empty? Uh, yeah, they're empty. Okay. Not uh -huh. to the same extent as how GF buses are. Right. But I think the good thing here is the pre-mortem pre and the post-mortem are at least better. You know, given that they were lying idle all day. Probably they're carrying two or three and no, increasing and also the capacity. Yeah. Right? You can right. come at eleven o'clock and can't say that I need a cab. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Hmm. Okay. So what do you guys think about uh, getting to getting to work in a cab or coming back from work in a cab? How many of you like it? How many of you would like to have it? How many of you think it's a colossal waste of four wheels? Sure, everyone likes it. It's just the money which is coming. <laughs> okay. Out. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking about your, your company arranged transport. Is that is that a favorable mode of transport? Uh, for someone who might like flexible timing. Okay. Much, okay. And I don't feel too bad about it because I own a scooter. Uh, uh. So I don't feel like I'm wasting space or energy or time. Got it. If I'm taking somebody with me on the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, if it was a longer distance, I'd rather be with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I think anything drive more than like, you know, half an hour or 45 minutes, we prefer something new. Okay. Not a personalized transport. Right, right. Yes, then Although I like that. Okay, not personalized transport. <laughs> what What do you think is the future of public transport? Something that keeps troubling me all the while. Will Will we be ever able to build, uh, you know, great public transport systems that will that will solve for eternity? It's happening in Europe already. Uh -huh. I was with the Swiss Embassy, and they they were just saying that the young people are not getting a driver's license. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, they're taking public transport. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this Indian setting, Gajaj, I was the only Nati character who was taking the Volvo buses. Uh -huh. Everybody else who had come for the event had come by car and they were fighting for a space. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I said, uh, if there's one Nati character who can inspire the others, then we don't have to fight for space and the program gets right. Uh, mm -hmm. right. But uh, I, I see in Bangalore another three years mm -hmm. and everybody will be. Mm -hmm. Switching to Volvo bus because coming here mm -hmm. to the safety lab, right. everybody takes the 110 rupees uh, thing, and you have the flexibility right. to leave when you want. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. always a bus, maybe seven or 12 minute intervals, sure. which is not a big thing. Um, and you, you can. Mm -hmm. But you think but things like information, etc., would would make a lot of sense there? Yes, think? because they have an app. Mm -hmm. At least uh, this chap had come from Singapore. Mm -hmm. and he said he's got an app. That tells him when the bus comes in. The, the bus, 
to oh. the whatever. Superb. Okay. And uh, it, it's already tested and working well. Mm -hmm. Which which country is it? Singapore. Okay. Uh, in Singapore. Okay. Okay. Uh, but this is a Swiss uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you know what what I think about that in Bangalore is uh, you would want to take public transport not out of choice but out of lack of choice. Mm. I don't want to go by car because of this. I don't want to go by two wheeler because of this. And I don't want to take a cab because of this. Right. Let me go by bus. Right. So there will always be some people who are filling up. Let's say the car people driving cars starts reducing. Mm -hmm. The traffic of cars starts reducing on the road. People mm. will start choosing fill it up. Right. So right. The car population on the road will always be full. Mm. Whether people start getting out of it to go by bus, mm. other people start coming. <coughs> Okay, so, so you think somewhere there's a leakage and somewhere so there's a filter yeah. so and gets added up. Public transport never becomes the first choice. Hmm. Maybe until the next three, four years, right, it will become so good that people want to choose to go there. Right, right. Not out of lack of choice. Hmm. But scaling up is an issue with public transport again, right? I'm more saying. optimistic on scaling mm -hmm. aspect, like uh, you know, right, like now the second stage of metro right. is being planned in this corridor. And they're extending, like, you know, and it's like, you know, complementing BMTC, right? Right, right. For sure right. that, you know, And what do you guys think about, say, personal transport? I'm saying, I'm talking about personal transport, I'm typically talking about, say, the autos, the cabs, your own cars, all right, uh, mostly four wheels. Uh, not the two wheels, we'll exclude, exclude that uh, just because of the capacities. What What do you think the future is? Becoming much more, mm -hmm. like more powerful. Right. Sure. Cool. Perfect. Two more minutes and we're wrapping up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to quickly run you through how we as a business at Ola are trying to solve in our own little way, all right, what we do. And then we can probably sync up offline right after this. So give me a quick second. Right, so our model is an aggregator model, uh, and hence uh, no additional capacities that we are adding up. All right. We mine your user behavior, just like you pointed out, right? Saying, can we optimize, help you get your cab earlier, sooner, lesser dry run, lesser petrol burnt, and faster to you to reach early. All right. Uh, we stand up for the city very often. All right. So we are active on social. You know what you are talking about. Uh, we help you go and vote, and we let you ride free. Uh, on auto strike day, we run at auto fairs, right? Small littles that you know we can we can do for the city. Uh, this is something that we do. When you said humane, this is what struck me, right? Uh, getting more entrepreneurs out of say drivers, and we encourage more people to do it. Uh, that's another interesting thing that we do. Part of network in terms of your data, uh, I'm sorry. The cars, uh, the drivers have their own cars and they basically. Correct. They the just get to attach themselves with Ola. Adhere by our quality guidelines, and they make their buck. They are happy. They are better. They are entrepreneurs, and they decide how much they make. All right. So uh, that's a little about what we do as a business. We we'd love it if you can uh, tweet to us, talk a little more about what you think the scene of personal transport and public transport is, and what the future is. Right. We'd like to reimagine ground transportation. It's a problem that you, we, I, you, all of you can solve together. All of us can solve together, and uh, we'd love to hear more from you. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bye.